Okay, time is all set. Are we ready? You're gonna need something to lean on. You can do this on the floor, that's fine, but this just makes it a little bit harder. Grab yourself a weight. We're doing a row and a fly, and it's 50 seconds, so let's go. So we've got 10 seconds to get ourselves prepared. How do I want you? I want you using a board. I want you to get a weight, and we're gonna do a row, and then we're gonna do a fly out to the side. So row and a fly. Row and a fly. Now, to make this harder, take the other leg up. So now we're including abs as well. This is a lot harder, so make sure that you pull and then fly. Pull up. Now you may be able to use a higher weight doing this one, but this exercise on the fly on the outside is a lot harder. So you need to make sure that you're getting a weight that you can do your fly with, not just your row. So don't go too heavy on this. It's all about pulling it in. You've got 18 seconds. Don't lose your balance. Keep going. Straight body line, all the way, six seconds, pull it in, three, ah, don't lose your balance, two, ah, last one, change sides, so I'm back on this side, are you ready, so get yourself straight body line, start with your row and then you fly, once you get confident and you feel that you're in a good, a nice firm position, then lift your opposite leg. Down. Now you may be more confident on one side than the other. That's completely normal. I'm a lot stronger on my left side than I am on my right side, but that's just gonna make us better. Doing things that you struggle with is just gonna improve everything. So keep going all the way. Try not to stop. 14 seconds, that's all you've got. Pull your abs in. Oh, so hard, it's so wobbly. Seven, concentrate. Oh, find something to focus on. Three, two, oh. ah. Grab your sun bags. More arms and rolls. Are you ready? So, we're gonna come down one side, and then the other. So come down, using your triceps. So, bend at the elbow, up you come. Bend at the elbow, up you come. Get them legs out. Get them lifted off the floor if you can. Lift up, so it's all in the elbow. Triceps are involved, abs are involved, core's involved, breathe. Keep going, all the way down. shoulders, come on, all the way down. Try some death. Okay, push up with a half burpee. So, you don't need anything for this. You're just going to go all out. That's one, let's go. So, one push up, bring it in, half burpee. Down. What am I looking for? I'm looking for you to go all the way down, hold it for a second, pop back up. You've got a straight body line. You've got 30 seconds to go. Push. Down. Okay, need an alternative? This is it. You're gonna come in, go down on your toes, push it in, up. Ah, right, you've got 15 seconds, push. Your triceps will be burning from that last exercise, but you're gonna keep going. Uh, 15. Come on, four seconds. Three, two, last one. Awesome work. Okay, chest press. So working our chest now. We're also gonna get some abs involved. So grab your weight, grab your bars. Let's go. So chest press with bike legs. So come down. Get them shoulders off if you can. All the way down, all the way up. Come on, keep going. I know your arms will be burning by now, but keep going, keep pushing. 
Really drive those legs out. Shoulders up. Come on, breathe. Push. Make sure your back is touching the floor or the bench. All the way down, all the way up. Make sure this bag is pushing you. All the way down. Well done. That's one sandbag swing. So get some weight in your bag. Let's go. All the way up. You need to make sure that you've got a decent weight. So you sit back, then pop forward. Make sure you use your abs. This is a brilliant exercise for abdominals, for core, for strength, for your glutes. Really push forward, head high, breathe, down. Come on, push. 18 seconds. If you need to use both arms, you can. That's fine. Push it up. Five seconds, come on, push. Three, two, that's one. And that's it. So, six exercises, all arms. I want you to, one second, there. I want you to make sure, <laughs> I want you to make sure that you're using heavy weight, as heavy as you can go, without making it too heavy that you're gonna compromise on your form. So, remember on the row, you may be able to row a lot more, but your fly is a very small muscle, so you can't go too heavy on that. But give it a go. Really make sure that you're focusing. Try using a bench, try elevating, try getting your abs involved, so you're working your core at the same time. What else? On your push-ups, if you need to go down onto your knees, that's fine. Try and do as many as you can. Remember, take a mental note, write it down how many you did the first time, beat it on the next time. Really go hard, go all out. We're trying to burn those arms till they hurt. Remember, if you're feeling that burn, it's working. It means you're working. So push yourself. Don't just stop once you feel tired. It's mind over matter. Tell yourself you've got this. You can do this and push right the way through. Let me know what you did. Let me know what scores you got. And let me know if you enjoyed this workout and if your arms felt pumped afterwards.